التحيات لله والصلوات والطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله So to begin with the word analysis the word analysis because each word needs to be appreciated in and of itself the first word is attahiyat. It's a very interesting word. This is a plural word of the word tahiyya. Tahiyya means greeting. It means greeting, like to greet someone. Attahiyat is the plural of that word, greetings. And the word greeting in and of itself tells the story of the origins of this word, the etymology of this word. The word tahiyya comes from the root of the word hayat, which means life. So why does the word for greeting come from the word which means life? Well, because pre-Islamically, in the times of Jahiliyyah, the Arabs, when they would greet one another, they would greet each other by saying a supplication. They would say, Hayak Allah, Hayakum Allah. May, may Allah give you a long and prosperous life. And this was the way they would greet each other. It's a good supplication, nothing wrong with it. But like when somebody would walk through the door, this is what they would say. They'd say, Hayak Allah. And this is how they would greet each other. So because they would make dua for the life of the person, the word for greeting also became extracted from the root word of life, tahiyya, which means to greet, pray for somebody's life. Later on when Islam came and the teachings of Islam came, then of course the Qur'an and the Prophet ﷺ taught us a different, supplic- a, a different greeting, and that is the greeting of assalamu alaikum. That's the greeting of Islam. So even though the greeting changed, and our greeting today is Assalamu Alaikum. The word for greeting, the title for greeting remained the same. Tahiyya still means to greet. And that's why the Quran even uses that term. When somebody greets you with a greeting, then return that greeting back to them better, or at least make sure that you return the equal greeting. Which, by the way, is a lesson that when people say salam to us, Assalamu Alaikum wa rahmatullah, somebody says a nice way, salam. So salam should not be returned that way. It should say a nice, respectable salam to people. All right, it's a Quran. It's a it's it's a, it's a command and instruction within the Quran. Etiquette from the Quran. So tahiyya means greeting. At-tahiyyat means the greetings. Now let's look at the next word. Lillahi. Lillah means for Allah. So if you put this together, the meaning that we got so far, literally speaking, is At-tahiyyatu lillah, the greetings are for Allah. Now, there's a little bit of an issue and a problem here. What does that mean, greetings are for Allah? We don't greet Allah, do we? Allah is a salam. We don't say assalamu alaikum to Allah. Allah is a salam. So what does it mean to greet Allah? Greetings are for Allah. A scholar by the name of Abdullah bin Salih al-Ijli, he tells his story. He says that I was interested in finding out what this means. Like really understanding the, the meaning, the significance, the beauty, the power of it. So he says, finally I came across Muhammad ibn, Muhammad ibn Idris al-Shafi'i rahimahullah. But the unique thing about Imam al-Shafi'i rahimahullah is while being a scholar of the Arabic language, he was a poet. He was a poet. He was very skilled, very qualified in Arabic poetry. He says, let me explain something to you. It says, when you enter into the court of the king, how do you enter into the court of the king? You offer royal compliments. Even in English, we know this. When somebody enters the court of the king, what do they say? Your royal highness, your majesty, your greatness. Right? They say these words when entering the court of the king. In Arabic, in classical Arabic, they would say things like, Abayt um, al-la'na, you've removed curse from the lands. Aslim wan'am. All right, find, may you find peace, may you find blessings. They would say, uh, alfa sana, may you live for a thousand years. They would praise the king and in this manner they enter the court of the king. It's protocol, royal compliments. So he says that's what the word at means. So when we say at lillah, we are saying royal compliments are exclusively for Allah. Royal compliments fit for a king are exclusively for Allah. at lillah. Now moving forward, was salawat, was salawat, and salawat. Salawat is the plural of the word salah, which means prayer. So our prayers are also for Allah. What tayyibat, tayyibat. This is the plural of the word tayyib. 
This means beautiful things, appealing things. So the beautiful and appealing things are also for Allah. And one thing that the scholars explain about this is that because it's being used in this manner in conjunction with the word salawat, salawat is like it's referring to the prayers, but it signifies all the ibadat, the worship that we have to offer is for Allah. And because the word tayyibat is being used in conjunction with it, the word tayyibat refers to the, uh, the beautiful character, the beautiful conduct, the way we conduct ourselves, our mannerisms, our dealing with people. So now look at the comprehensiveness of just the first four words of the tashahud. At-tahiyyatu lillah. Royal compliments are for Allah. Was-salawat. Prayers, worship, ibadah is for Allah. Was-tayyibat. And the beautiful appealing things, our character, our mannerisms, our conduct is also dedicated and devoted to Allah. It's all done for the sake of Allah. And there's a very fine point in here. Because even when you conduct yourself appropriately, and you do it for the sake of Allah, that is not only sincerity, but that ensures that you will continue to conduct yourself in such a noble manner. 